Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another DV tutorial. Uh, today we'll be talking about how to set up a GMMA chart or a Guppy multiple moving averages chart, uh, which is a great way to identify trends on multiple time frames. I've actually got a indicator template set up using this. So I call that uh, GMMA. So loading that up, you can see what we're going to be building today. Uh, basically, you'll be able to set up short term moving averages in red, longer term moving averages in blue. And then when you've got a pattern where it's red over white space over blue space, so red, white, blue, uh, you've got a strong uptrend. And when it flips to the downside, we've got a downtrend here. Let's bring up actually a chart of NVIDIA here to use as an example. Uh, this is during this year. And then if we scroll back in time, uh, you can see the downtrend that we had in 2022. So this is a really great objective and really visual way of identifying trends um, and also sticking with them. If you've got a stock that's in a strong red, white, blue um, pattern on a daily chart, as well as if we switch over to a weekly chart, that basically suggests that a stock is under significant accumulation and uh, likely will continue the uptrend after pauses and pullbacks. Um, but it also, it also is very similar to stage analysis on a weekly chart where we're in a stage two when we're in that red, white, blue pattern on a weekly chart and likely in a stage four when we're in a blue, white, red uh, trend here on the daily. And then stage one is kind of when the moving averages are all kind of converging together and kind of fighting for for prominence for, uh, you know, to take the lead. So uh, this is what we'll be setting up today. And you can also even go ahead and hide the price action. So you're purely looking at the moving averages in this view. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go back to my daily chart. Let's unhide NVIDIA and get started. So this is my normal configuration. And what we're gonna be doing is uh, setting up that GMMA temp template. Uh, just like I had set up. So let's first go ahead and delete the other indicators that we have here. Let's delete all the moving averages. And what's great is we actually have a GMMA indicator. So let's go ahead and show you how to click that and find that. So let's go ahead and click indicators and strategies, type in GMMA, and we can go ahead and select that right there. And we're already almost there, as you can see in just about a few clicks. Uh, but we do want to change the colors a little bit and change the moving averages that we're using. So let's go ahead and hover over that indicator, click settings. And here you can change the different moving averages that you're using. You can change the style over here. So let's go ahead and change these all to a nice deeper blue. Um, and actually what we want to do is flip the short term moving averages to red and the longer term ones to blue. So let's actually switch these to red and keep that selected and sorry, unselected that one and make these blue. Those longer term ones will be blue now. And there we go. We've already kind of got the red, white, blue pattern set up and let's take a look at the inputs here. So for the short term exponential moving averages, we've got three, five, eight, 10, 12, and 15. And the longer term moving averages in blue, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 60. You can certainly tweak this if you'd like to, uh, but we'll go ahead and leave that as the default and uh, we'll keep it visible on all time frames. So there we go, we're pretty much set up already. We've got our red, white, blue pattern. Uh, we can go ahead and hide that um, price action here to just show that uh, the, overall, um, the overall trend here. And let's right click on the chart and yep, that's actually, that's what we want there. We can go ahead and squish this down to show all the price action here. And what we can do is also add one more moving average and let's kind of reset this here. We can add one more moving average that will just be the one day moving average to show the moving uh, the, the actual price action in a non kind of uh, visually annoying way. So let's go ahead and go indicators here and type in moving average. And we just want a simple one and we'll go ahead and make this a one period moving average and we'll make this black and we'll make this a little bit thicker. And now what we've got is kind of the uh, price action also shown here uh, with the GMMA chart. So this is a configuration that Dr. Wish really likes, um, who I learned the, the guppy charts from. Uh, he likes to look for when 
the price action crosses, crosses above all the red ones, and then we start a red, white, blue pattern. And then similarly, when we start to break down, it could be a longer basing period or the start of a downtrend like we saw back in here. But that is pretty much the GMMA charts. Uh, as I mentioned, is a great visual way of identifying trends. Uh, you're in a strong uptrend if we're in a red, white, blue pattern on a daily chart, as well as a weekly chart. And uh, you likely want to stick with that stock for the longer term if you're a position trader, if we're still in a weekly red, white, blue uh, trend, that's kind of more of a stage two uh, type stock. So uh, what we can do now is go ahead and let's switch this back to a daily chart and move this up a little bit. And let's actually right click and undo that. So it auto fits. And now we're gonna save this as a template so it's easily accessible uh, and you won't have to go through that process of setting up again. So let's go over to our indicator templates. Let's click save indicator templates. Let's do GMMA tutorial. And we're gonna go ahead and click remember interval. Uh, if you'd like to leave this unchecked, you can, but we'll go ahead and click save. And now if we just go over to my previous template and unhide this, if you wanna load that back up again, it's as easy as going over your indicator templates, finding GMMA tutorial right up here, and then going ahead and hiding that price action if you'd like to. And there you have it in just about seven seconds, you've got a GMMA uh, chart, which is great again for identifying those trends. Uh, when we start the move, you can see all these become compressed and they expand as we break out. Uh, and that's often a really good area to look for an entry as all the red ones are compressed and then price action moves above them and we start to see expansion in the start of the red, white, blue pattern on that daily chart. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Let me know your questions and thoughts down below. Um, let me know other topics that you'd like me to make a quick tutorial about and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.